Let's learn how to install diagram support in Microsoft SQL Server. So I've already opened up my SQL Server Management Studio and I have my databases and when you look at my databases uh, we have a bunch from the book that we're working with like the Bowling League, AdventureWorks, things like that. If I want to learn how to uh, look at the diagram of how the tables all relate what you could do is we go to this database that you're working with, whichever one. If I uh, click on the database diagram support and I right mouse click and choose new da database diagram, we get an error message saying you can't do that. So if I come back here and say install diagram support, we still get the error. And so the reason being is that we don't have the right permissions. So if I go back to the database itself, not diagrams, but the database, right mouse click and choose properties, then this will bring up a window that says, here's all the information about that database. And if I click on the files option, you'll see that there is no owner associated with it. So if I click on the three dots called the ellipsis, we can come down to this area and say who should we add to be an owner so we click browse and it brings up all the available owners on our system that we could work with and what you're going to do is you could look for your username and password or if we wanted to make it um, a little bit easier you could just say it's the uh, system administrator or for those that are BYU students you'd look for your BYU and username or any users that are built into the system. Now you might not have the same. You might have one called everyone. You could click on the everyone and that just means anybody on the system could use it. So once you add some owners or an owner, they show up here. You click OK. Click OK one more time. And that's because I can't do all those owners there. Let's go ahead and go back and we'll just do myself and the SA. So I took the uh, users ones out. I just had my own net ID in my SA. Now I can come back to the database diagrams, right mouse click, install diagram support. Do you wish to create them? Yes. Come back to database again, new database diagram. And now you're gonna have access to all of the tables and you could choose all those. I'm going to hold my shift key down. I'm not going to choose the Z tables. I click add and the database diagram support will bring all the tables in and then I'm just going to move these around and hopefully it's already set up relationships based upon primary keys and we can see those relationships And so we now know that we have a primary key of match games. So we have a one to many, a one to many, one to many. That's what our little infinity sign means. And so um, this is a way you can see how the tables interact and how they relate. And you can actually put your cursor on the relationship and it will tell you things like, a, um, in fact, let's go to a bowler and bowler scores. And it says that the relationship of bowler scores has a foreign key between bowlers and bowler scores. And we actually know that the bowler ID here looks like the foreign key to here. This is part of our primary key. But since bowler ID is a primary key here, it becomes a foreign key here. And in this case, the combination of those three fields make it a primary key unique. So not only is bowler scores a primary key for the bowler scores table, but it's a foreign key because it came from a primary key in another table. And this is a way that you can look and see how databases all relate and interact.